Hi everyone, welcome to Statistics Bios on YouTube channel. I am Mohanath Nari. If you like our channels, please click the subscription button and join the channel membership. Let's go to today's video. How to analyze the PSN correlation coefficients in Argin Pro software. The data already entered in the exercise. The data copy paste to, to the Argin Pro worksheet. The select the whole the data. Sorry, select the data. Go to the origin pro software. Paste the data title. Under the select the data. Paste the data. Okay. Now go to the statistics menu. Under the descriptive statistics. Under sub for the correlation coefficients. Open the new dialog. The open the new dialog for the correlation coefficients. The select the input data file. Okay, select the button. Select the whole the data. And the already click the standard uh, settings for the PSN correlation the checkbox. Next one for the plot type. If you like the plot, the scatter plot, um, scatter matrix plot, the checkbox click it. Then the select for the pair ways. Then the click the OK button. The open the new tab for the PSN correlation coefficients. Okay, this is for the first one for the data input type. The next one the table for the descriptive statistics. The descriptive statistics for the pH mean value. 0 point the average value 0 0.98 and the standard deviation 2.31 the sum 104.7 the minimum 0 0.1 maximum 9.6 the next one for the descriptive status is the salinity the total number of the sample 15 the average value for the salinity in the whole the sample 1.108 the standard deviation 0 0.22 the next one for the dissolved oxygen, the total number of samples the 15, the average for the dissolved oxygen 3.456, the standard deviation 0 0.79. The next one for the EC, the total number of samples 15, the average value for the EC 7.22, the standard deviation 2.05. The next for the DDS, the average for the DDS the whole the sample 4.20667, the standard deviation 1.31. 676 the next one for the temperature and alkalinity and terminity the mean value terminity for the mean value 375 the standard deviation 43.56 102 the next one for the the pearson the correlations the table this is a pearson correlation table the p value they mention also the pearson correlation value under the p value okay the first one the for the ph value the ph2 Correlation for the salinity, the normal correlation, the 0 0.1238, the pH is the dissolved oxygen negatively correlated, the G minus 0 0.4277, and also the pH, the EC electrical connectivity also the negative correlated, minus 0 0.27001, the pH and DDS also the positive correlated the 0 0.14011 the next one for the pH the pH also temperature the positive correlated the 0 0.29573 then the pH alkalinity also the positive correlated and the pH the terminate also the positive correlated the pH value the p value for the pH salinity minus sorry 0 0.64836 and the p-value for the uh, dissolved oxygen to the pH 0 0.117. The next one for the salinity, the salinity, the dissolved oxygen, the salinity dissolved oxygen, the value for the PSN correlation, negative correlated. And the salinity and the EC, also the negative correlated. And the DDS salinity, also the negative correlated, minus 0 0.468333. The positive correlated for the temp, uh, temperature alkalinity terminity the correlated for the salinity. Then next one the sample for the dissolved oxygen. The dissolved oxygen the uh, 
correlated for the EC, DDS, then uh, 27 only the positive correlated and the dissolved oxygen, the temperature alkalinity, turbidity also the, the negative correlated. The next one for the EC, the EC the uh, correlated for the DDS, the negative and the temperature also negative, the alkalinity and the turbidity also the negative correlated. The DDS then uh, correlated correlation for the positive in the temperature and alkalinity and the turbidity. The next one for the alkalinity, the alkalinity the positively correlated for the turbidity. Okay. The next one plot for the starter matter plugs. The click the double click the box, open the new tab for the starter matter plugs. The dialog. Okay. This is a scatter matter blocks. Uh, double click for the, the central of the box. The open the new tab for the setting in the plot detail for the, the scatter plot. Okay, they change the dot symbol. Okay, they change the color. If you the standard, all the color change to black. They click the black. Apply. The color is black. If you want the multicolor, go to the color symbol options, the by plot. Select the multicolor. The indexing, the pH. Click the apply. Then this is a color, the different colors. change for the different colors if we increase the for the dot symbol the size okay the change to the 15 or 12 okay this is a tool okay then click the ok button the next one for the the pearson correlation the table Okay, this is a Pearson correlation. The same table also the present the before. This table the mention also the Pearson correlation and the p value for the comparison. The next one for the Pearson the only the comparison for the Pearson correlation the value. Okay, thank you for watching this video. If you like, please uh, click the subscription button. Thank you again.